How do heart frobs? Having a bit of a different one tonight. Let me just get out of the wind. As you might be able to see on my back and by the surrounding weather, it's meant to be blowing a hooli later and uh, raining. So I thought I'd try out a bit of kit that I dug out the other day looking for something. My old TW uh, poncho hammock tarp. I'm gonna use it as a tarp shelter tonight. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. It could be absolutely dross because it ain't very wide. Anyway, I'm gonna make a stroll into camp now. I haven't got far to go, probably about a mile. Let's see, looks filthy, doesn't it? <laughs> Johnny might be joining us a little bit later on as well. Um, anyone that does like John, pop over, give him a sub. He's very, very close to the 100 mark. I've got people looking at me like I'm mad, so I'm gonna get a jog on. What's that lurking in the woods? Is it a bear pulling its put? Oh no, it's Nobby on the prowl again. Scratching his back against a tree, then digs a ditch and bends both knees to squat above it, dumping wild and free. Nobby, 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 Nobby. Pop man and pop beast to cook a roll, kill feast for you. Nobby, Nobby, Nobby. You can find him in the woods, gotta wonder what he's up to. Surprise the hammer takes that way, yeah, he's no oil man, that's for sure. And he don't suffer fools at all, he's got a friend with just one ball. He down, we know he loves us all, but we'll never let it show. No, me, no, 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 Rabbit on. Maybe a wood pigeon will save the bacon grill till morning And he's gonna try a running somersault on oh, no. rubbish sorry I'll stack it all up over here and bring it back to me in the morning look knobheads knobheads don't be a knobhead Right, nice easy setup that. Um, I'll just give you a quick run through. So what we got here then is the TW uh, hammock poncho tarp. It comes in at 3.9 meters long when you've unpegged it all, unvelcroed it all. That folds in so you can wear it as a poncho nice and comfortable. 1.5 meters wide, I believe. There's your hood up there and your arm flaps. So basically what you can do wear it as a poncho your kit underneath it when you get to camp you can whip that off leave your kit underneath it and set it up you've seen how quick and easy it was to set up in this configuration um, you could quite easily use it as a tarp over your hammock in the summer months i'd say with acres of room i love that acres of room uh, also it's a hammock itself and when it's set with the ridge line properly it is a seriously comfy hammock 
Now, I'm not sure if they're making them anymore. Um, they were about 20 quid. If they are, well worth the money. It is a bit of kit you, uh, kit you don't use a lot, but yeah, if you actually have a look there, you can see there the tarp underneath, which I lay on, and then you can see just how much room I've got the other end. Um, I could do with tweaking it a little bit here and there, but she's gonna do for me. I'm gonna start switching over to the camera because the rain still hasn't arrived. I need to get some wood. There's still rubbish I need to pick up. Um, I've been stashing it here as I come across it. Absolutely kills me every time I see it. But I already got a fire pit dug. So how, how stupid are these people? You dig a fire pit, but use it to cover up the fire that you've had on the floor. It, it just don't ring true, does it? Anyway, stop being a waffling, a moany, a bastard. Brew time. I prepped camp a bit, had a walk round. The weather's really coming in, so I could be getting wet. I've had a text from Johnny, it sounds like he's coming. I'm just making a brew now. As you can see, this ain't very high, but if I have it any higher, it don't give me the depth. So although it ain't, so although it ain't ideal, it's gonna do a job tonight. Uh, while I'm doing this, uh, a quick channel shout out that I've noticed uh, recently. And I know I seem to mention the, the ladies a lot, which not really on purpose, but it's a young lady called Wild Bear, uh, B-E-A-R-E. -E. Um, sorry if it's not bear pronounced, but it reads bear. Yeah, it goes out a lot of solo camping, young mum, and got a real lust for life. So crack on, go give her a watch. Once again, don't forget Johnny. Where's my brew kit? There's my brew kit. Not a lot tonight, just uh, gonna have sausages later with a bit of couscous. And then probably sausages in the morning. Cause you know, I like sausages. I'll tell you what I have done, like a mungo though. I appear, no I haven't, ignore me. Or have I? I have forgotten the cross members for my stove. That is a bit of a bugger. As always though, improvise, adapt and overcome. I've had a check around this area. Um, I'm at the front of the woodland. So I've literally got a couple of trees behind me. One which if it's gonna fall, is gonna fall that way. The other one, is gonna fall that way, but it looks like a strong, healthy tree. Um, all the others that we're around are fine, but we are on top of a hill and it is blowing a hoolie. Always check, always check. Right, let's see if I can sort this out. One there. Okay, one there. That wind is really picking up. Right, that'll hold her, but it ain't the best. I've also got a load of muck inside my bleeding stove. But, hey oh, let's get this thing lit. Just trying to make the most at the moment of getting out as many camps as I can before lockdown happens again, which it probably inevitably will. Oh, it looks like rain. 
that's way too much water. And we're off. I'm probably gonna to have to drag that camera, either get my improvised waterproof shield out. <laughs> I'm such a tight git. Or um, bring it inside. That's definitely rain. I think it's safe to say it's going to be a proper choppy one. Just kick the tripod. <coughs> Brew's nearly ready. Rain is definitely coming in. As soon as I get my camera out again. Thank you once again. I've got, I've got to stop saying it, but I really do appreciate it. Oh. I'm trying to think of ways how to get my channel going. And one of the ways seems to be a YouTube beef. Trouble is I'm a nice bloke. There's a couple of people I'd like to rip the bits, but it ain't worth it. So what I think I'm gonna do is pick Bruce, wild ginger Bruce. You're a ginger tosser. I know when you come round my house, you nick the pair of my wife's pants, because I'm sure I've seen the back of them hanging out your jeans on one of your videos. You, Ginger, Tosser. Beef! <laughs> oh, when you're alone, you act like a dick. I nearly bought a cigar box guitar out today. I was gonna play a, uh, a bit of music as my intro and then surprise you with my vocal skills. Then I realized I can't sing for shizzle. Johnny has sent me a few messages now, so he might turn up. Um, I think he's bringing a hammock. Good on him, I wish I had. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, I actually have, but it's only a little one. And I said I was gonna stay under this poxy thing. Sorry, not a poxy thing. It's a bit of kit and it's doing its job. Oh, what's happening there? There we go. Um, it's a bit of kit and it's doing its job, so. I can't complain, I've got absolutely no windage coming on me and I've got plenty of room when I get under it. Room for days. And if anyone comes along, I'll just look like a hobo that's sheltered. I'll look like a hobo in no matter what I'm doing, to be fair. The only thing I would say, this definitely wouldn't fit JC under it. Old Miss Collins would uh, have, a, have a mare. Could you imagine her and a Kerry Katona combo? Us is nips all good. Right, I've got to stop waffling because as you can see, my uh, my brews are whistling. I'm going to actually let that burn out because there's no way I'm pulling them pegs out to put the lid on it. Made enough for two bleeding brews here. If Johnny's quick, he can have one, can't he? He won't be, he's not due till five. You know, just as it's hammering down and getting dark. A little bit of cold water because I'm a tart. Um, cool dudes, no, let me try that again in bleeding English. Cool dudes walking club. He's currently doing the South Downs way. And I know the bloke's a professional comic, so you would expect it, but he's a, he's a funny git. Well worth a watch. All right, cool dudes. And he's from the Isle of Wight. I ate naff cafe, three and one, but I turned up really lightweight today, not having to take the tent or anything, so why waste it, eh? Look at that. You can't beat the old peg pot stand. Waffling enough for you now? What's that? 
chuff off Lee, bring us back when you've got something, bring you back, bring you back when you've got something interesting to say, you'll have a long bleeding wait, wouldn't you? Oh, I'm getting old as shit. You know that's like from step away from the screen. Yeah, yeah. He's all right, old fucking knob, that mate. Hello, mate, how you doing? It's only Johnny. How you doing, Nips? I thought he was going to be wet. <laughs> uh, quick look what I've been doing while he's been walking down. All the wood in the dry, lovely job. Tarp holding up the wind well. There's even not water in there if you want to brew, John. Is that all you're staying under? That's you're, all I'm staying under, mate. You're brave, mate. I brought the camper van with me. <laughs> <laughs> you can sling that under my face. It ain't raining today, now. I don't know. It's awful. It was raining. Spit it out properly. It was raining when I got out of the car. That's why I put this on. I'll give you a hand setting up if you like. Thank you very much. Anytime, sir. It's like the BBC, this is. <laughs> so, from the Hobo Homestead. Sorry, Sam. I know that's your trademark. To Johnny's. Green Palace, I'm just Deluxe. Trying... Deluxe. I like Deluxe. I'm just trying not to get these uh, bags for life in shot. You happy with that, mate? Mate, I've got amples in here. Amples, innit? You, you coming in? Get inside and I'll follow you in. Oi, oi. Oi. <laughs> you ain't going to pick much up in there. Or oh, maybe you will. Look, rock solid and all. I know you can't hear the wind, but you should be able to see it. I've got pegs if you want them. Who needs pegs? <laughs> Who needs pegs? Gonna be a good night tonight, John. Gonna be a wet one. I know. I may well be joining you in there. Last time I had a wet one was my first ever camp at Camp Nobby. I had wobbly sausage that night. Have you got wobbly sausage this night? I have got sausage tonight, yeah. Brat first, pot first, or just a No, they're Guinness. Rubber. I've got Guinness sausages tonight. You've got camp at all, but come a long way. So we've stuck up the world's shoddiest tarp so we can sit in the dry when we're cooking and drinking. What your, what's your tipple? Tonight I've got a mixture of a lager, just standard, and some spiced rum and coke, but it's, uh, it's Bacardi, it's not Morgan's. Oh, very. <laughs> Guess what I've got? Go Guess. Morgan's spiced rum. Yeah. But I did notice, I will notice, and I'll say this, Dominic last week, gin oh. and tonic, what the? That weren't the worst one, he had a proper pink punch type thing. Yeah. That's why he's not here tonight. He's a vegan! Um, one thing I have noticed, and what I might do, cover your ears John, I don't want you to hear this. The way we've set this tarp up to run off, Luckily, it runs straight into the door of Johnny's tent. So, if that does hammer down later... It's not downhill, mate. It's a... <laughs> You're liking your tarp tent set up, aren't you? I do like it, it keeps you a lot shel more sheltered. If I was hammocking tonight, I'd be like... I like it, mate. I've sussed out those trees are a possibility, but <laughs> negligible. I'm pretty at that. Widow maker. Always check for the widow makers. So yeah, we're gonna let it get a little bit darker and then we're gonna uh, set a light to the fire. We're gonna utilize the pit that the other knobheads have dug. Um, we can bury that in later. We are pretty damn close to the path though. I never realized how close to the path we are. Since they've dug in all these bike tracks, it's very accessible. They've done even more since the last time I was here. But hey ho, I found a downed, uh, pine tree and all so I've got plenty of fat wood to get the fire going um, spindly stuff covered in fat wood and all a bit like Johnny's legs spindly spindly legs yeah. isn't they mate it's a little boy yeah little boy Johnny knows best almost 100 subs give him a click well first beer of the night just had to put a jacket on and all it is going to be a howler I can tell you that for nothing um, Johnny's just out there trying to whittle something it's already getting dark, as you can see if I do that. But hey oh, that still works. Won't waste my battery then, eh? Um, I need to bring my camera inside because that rain is going to kill it. 
Don't you dare fall. Yeah. Good o. I'm going to uh, let you see Johnny's creation as and when he comes back and manages it. It won't work. I'm telling you now, it won't work. He can't do joined up talking. How is he going to join bits of wood? I'm sure I qualify for some sort of allowance. Here he comes. Yeah, pine cones are going to help you sit up, ain't they? What you got, John? Who is making a chair? Pine cones. Pine cones. <laughs> pine cones burn beautifully on a fire. They do. You're right. And if you look there, that's full of uh, sap and crap like that, which is good. Talking of saps, how are you doing? Oh, sorry, I thought you were talking to someone else. Welcome to Nobby Clark's Cape Bastard Tips for Camping. Um, as you know, if you're sitting on the deck, you often get backache. So this idea is adapted from Wild Ginger Bruce, but I'm either tighter than him, so I didn't stitch anything. An old luggage strap, hook it round your foot, hook it round small of your back, and you can lean back, look, adjustable. Lovely. Seat pad behind would be a lot better because this is digging in quite a bit, but I'm fat, so I've got a bit of cushion in it, ain't too bad. But yeah, well done, Wild Ginger Bruce, for the suggestion. An even cheaper version. Ugh. That weather's really coming in now. That fire's doing well considering. We have to get it on. But I, uh, I think Johnny might have a few holes in his tarp in the morning. Don't know how well you can see me. How about that? Um, in fact, why don't I do that? That's better. Got the murder suit on because it is hammering it down. I can't get too close to the fire because it's a little bit melty. But yeah, I don't know if you can hear that wind. I don't know if you can hear the rain. But it's uh, sideways stuff, it's nice. Are you looking forward to it, John? Who would have, who would have thunk it? John's having a, a little issue with <laughs> water coming off the tarp into his entrance. Anyway, get them embers on the go and uh, get some food. This camp could seriously end up being washed out, you know. It is hoying it. Living the dream, mate. Are you sure you don't want to end? Mate, I've offered 15 times, you keep telling me no. Him tying knots is just great fun to watch. It's like when you first see that uh, vine clip of the orangutan with the saw, it's quite amazing. Smoke. Right, I'll try that again. Because I was pointing the camera at my feet because the smoke's killing me. John! <laughs> How's it going for you tonight? Started off really good. And then it's literally gone to a rap <laughs> yeah. I don't think you enjoy it too much. The murder suit's yeah, keeping well. It's pissing down. <laughs> oh, he ain't a fan of Ray. The shelter's was working well though, mate, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. It's got fucking smoke. Yeah, it's a bit smoky smoke in here. Tunnel, We're gonna have to sort that out. It's killing me. I'm literally crying. <laughs> <Whew>. <coughs> well, I can honestly say, it's nights like tonight where you're effectively spooning a six foot four beef wit that you wonder, why do you do this? <laughs> You don't wonder though, do you, John? This is what his missus sees every night, but God help her. I'm a lot angrier there, though. Oh, it's... And she cries like this as well. The smoke is killing me. Are you watching porn up? <laughs> Not yet, but I'm breaking that way, I tell you. Phil, he got close to me, look, and he had to get it on. Dirt animal! What, <laughs> what are you searching? Just badges. Oh, OK. Conversations have been uh, flowing again, as usual. And Johnny was telling me uh, about the gender wage gap and how we don't think it's big enough. Why don't you explain to John what he was telling me? 
basically what I was saying was <laughs> I think that men should get paid a lot less than women. No, you didn't say that though, did you? <laughs> did I say? What did I say? Oh, well, you tell them. No, you tell them. I forgot. <coughs> I've sussed it. I don't know where that camera's pointing, but I've also mullered me hat. Look, need a new hat. Had this hat years. That's helping a lot, John, that. Still don't know where I'm pointing the camera. That might catch me. Oh, I look like incognito outdoors, look. Oh. So in now, John's got some Guinness sausages and I've got some cheapos. Obviously suet for oil because suet makes all the difference, John, doesn't it? Oh, thank Christ that smoke's on. That absolutely ruined me. <laughs> I've got to say, I love that titanium plate. It gets battered, stuff don't stick to it, fling it on the fire. No good on a gas burner whatsoever. Absolutely shite, in fact. But for this sort of thing, you can't beat it. Spot on. And I've got to say, I know it's not the Ritz or anything like that. John's trying to spit a light, mate, on the old tent. But this thing, 20 quid I paid for it. It ain't the biggest, it ain't the most comfortable, there ain't much height in it. Are you talking about the tent? <laughs> <laughs> but, how dry is that inside? It's dry. It's well. spot on for what I need it for. I'm not saying it should replace any bleeding, all singing, all dancing, tent, tarp, tarp tent, Stop trail right. style, whatever. But I'm dry and it is hoying it down. Hoying it down, John, isn't it? Can I just say something? Go on been double bagged there <laughs> yep he ain't right <laughs> let's eat perfect timing weather's coming right in again now just need sauce why do we never bring sauce john no we do need to get some sauce we need some sauce nothing better than a sausage with some sauce on it <laughs> cock happy this boy what? well the murder suit's doing us proud shelter's doing us proud I don't know if you can hear all that noise outside, but it is blowing a bloody gale. Um, rain's sort of eased off, but it has been stair rods, mate, innit? You don't know what that means, do you? No. Coming down straight. Yeah. Been a... Huh? He ain't right. Look at me out. Can't believe I broke me out. <laughs> Are you digging me new camera, sir? It's all right, isn't it? It's all right, isn't it? Um, yeah. Don't know how much of now we're going to film because we've had a couple of the old Captain Morgans smoking our face for two hours. And, uh, yeah. Johnny ain't very comfy huddled up in the world's smallest shelter. Well, I'm six foot four. Feel like a brick. Yep, he is. He's massive. You know that. Oh, no, you don't know that. <laughs> He's, he's so intimidating to be around. Oh, cheeks. <laughs> anyway. So, full disclosure, this down here, on the inside, they seam sealed one side, but not the other. So what I'm getting is a little bit of water running down there and then dripping. Now, it is nothing, it's about that big, just on the ground sheet and easily avoided and easily fixed. I just need to put some of my own seam sealer, mix of, uh, what's it called John? White spirit and silicon, and that's it, job sorted. But, you know, I like to be honest, but it's still doing a cracking job. Um, as Johnny says, it's perfect for an emergency shelter or just a, an overnight or if you can get up and walk around. But it's horrible here, John, isn't it? <laughs> Not the nicest night, is it? You're loving it really, though, aren't you? That's right. Which way? Well, we are. <laughs> in, uh... You're looking forward to getting in yours, aren't you? Oh, wait, I can't wait to get in bed. 
that's what'd be good. I only want to get in bed. You're actually ready for bed now, aren't you? You don't need to lie to me. Why'd you say that? <laughs> oh. So yeah. Just stretching our backs because it is proper cramped under there. <sighs> and we're having a another break in the rain. Murder suit's working great. You wish you had yours, didn't you? I think I have somewhere. It's... Yeah, ain't cold, ain't cold at all. So when I do get me pad out and everything on there, it'll be grand. When John's asleep, I'll put the sausage pan by his opening in case a badger wants to come in and say hello. That would make me laugh a lot. That, that my opening's getting blocked right up, mate. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Name of his sex tape. Well, that's about all she wrote for tonight. I need to take me uh, murder suit off, which I've just noticed in the camera. Damn it. Um, yeah, it's meant to pick up again in a bit. It ain't late, it's only about 11 o'clock or so, maybe even 12. What time is it, John? 11. About 11. Gonna lay here, watch a bit of YouTube and that sort of shizzle. Me nizzle, wrap me camera up and yeah. See you in the morning. Johnny lent me a little head net, look. So me having to use me buff, muff, cuff, whatever it's called. I'm expecting to strangle myself. Pretty sure I will. But hey -o, no bugs in me mouth. Good night, John Bob! Well, no, but I'm saying good night to the camera, you know, for. That's why I ate him. Morning. Still chucking it down. It's a... Uh, it was a cushy night from about 3 o'clock I think it stopped. It's now 6 in the morning. Just as we need to start getting up and packing away. And it is hoying it down again. Sod's bloody law. I'm going to shut my eyes for another half hour and hope it bugs off. <coughs> Slept quite well though. Stayed dry. Which is always a bonus. I don't know about Johnny lad. I'll hear in a minute, won't I? Oh, need a wee and all. Always need a wee when it's hammering down. It's going to have to wait. Well, I'll bring you back when there's some movement. Right there, John. Hi, Bob, Oh, shit. <laughs> Gotta say, in all honesty, the TW, TWW, The TW um, poncho has definitely done its job. As a little bit of uh, drips here and there, but on the whole, for a 20 quid bit of kit, it has hammered down on this all bloody night, and it's done well. And after I've packed up, I'm gonna wear it and stay dry. I will look like a prat while I'm doing it, but what are you saying? I know, John. I think in total let's have a look we probably had about two hours where it weren't raining from five o'clock so uh, yeah successful night a wet windy blowy uncomfortable successful night Johnny loves these nights he does He's done nothing but rave about how much he's enjoyed it. He ain't complained once. Isn't that right, John? Fuck off. How rude is that man? Right. I need to make decisions. Do I just get up and do it? Or do I hope it passes? You can do it, Bob. You can do it. Don't feel that heavy on mine. Sounds really heavy on Johnny's. 
What a prat. Well, was all packed up and ready to go. This is how I would have walked out. But sod's bleeding law, that sun's coming out. So I'm just gonna pack it away. Look, right, we're not finished here yet, by the way. We've taken away a lot of air crap. Started filling in the hole. There's my dry patch. Johnny didn't have a dry patch. Just a wet patch. No, oh, it's starting to dry up, but. Um, yeah, picked up all their cripe, cripe, crap. And you can see Johnny picking it all up. I'm gonna get their shovel, fill in their holes. Mm. But uh, yeah, we've left it a lot cleaner than what we found it. So I may see you on the uh, walk out. If not, look at the state of that bobblehead. Ta-ra! At least I ain't slippery, eh? Yeah, though. Ooh! 